Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Uh, some of you have been asking about the gearing up and basically kind of going over it again. So what I'm going to do is just simply go through the process of putting on the gears and then just show you real quick the difference in the motor speed. So let me go ahead and put this down here. These are my extra piece cabinets. All right, so on the gearing down, here's what I have. I have this J-beam here. It's called a curve beam. Um, and I have different axles. This is a uh, six. No. Yeah, yeah. This is a six, and then I have an eight. And then I have this gear, and then I have this tiny gear here. So the first thing is going to be, and then you're going to have to uh, figure out the, the building process. Well, if you forgot, you can check, um, um, I forgot how many videos ago, where I put the uh, robot together that has the gear, the gear up. But anyway, I'm going to put this six into this uh, large motor like that. Okay. And then this will go right into here. And then if you are running out of space, just move it out like that. Okay, like so. And then we're going to put on this gear here. I believe this has the 64 teeth. And then you can see how this would fit into a different piece right there. Over here on this robot here, it fits in like that. But you can watch that video. Okay, so what we have now is we have this. And this is going to be the gear that will spin when, when the motor does. So the next thing is now I want and you know I might I might be having my the size of my rods mixed up here but that's okay. You'll get you'll figure it out. And so I want to put that axle in here so that this gear once I get this on here Okay, so basically what I want is, and I, I might have put this in, um, you know, you can decide how you want to have that put in. But like on this one here, you want that large gear spinning uh, the shorter gear here. So, and it, it can, doesn't matter what side it is. If you want this gear on the inside of this beam, that's fine. But you can just see now how when this gear rotates it will rotate this uh, gear right here and so the wheel would go right here and that's what's going to give you the gearing up or the faster speed um, with your robot so um, it vice versa if we had this smaller gear into the motor spinning the larger one that's where we would gear down it would go slower it would give your robot more torque uh, but this one here is just going to make your robot go faster because this large gear is now spinning this smaller gear within it. So it's just going to end up making more rotations or faster rotations. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you the robot and the difference in the speed. So let me take you back to my desk. Actually, before I take you back to my desk, I just wanted to show you the same concept I'm having with my Robotics 2 class and their VEX uh, Clawbots. So we're having a uh, VEX Dragster competition. And so what my class is experimenting is just how to make their motors go faster. So they've had their regular claw bot. And here, this one's just, um, this gear is just connected to the motor. Um, but this is an, an, another example of a geared up robot. So if you can see here, the motor's attached to this gear, which is a larger gear. And that gear is going to spin these smaller gears right here. What I really like about this one is it's spinning both of them at the same time instead of just one. So this would be another example of a geared up robot. Same thing here is this gear right here is attached to the motor and it would basically be spinning this smaller gear. So if we were to have a competition today, I mean, they're not finished yet, 
but this robot <clears throat> this robot here would go a lot faster than just the robots that are hooked into just one of the motors um, that are basically if you look at this one they're all the same size gear so as far as gaining any speed this one too they're all the same size gears so they're going to be spinning at a slower rate than these geared up robots here so that's just an example of uh, gearing up a robot uh, with vex all right so now let me take you to my desk okay everybody i'm here i'm back here at my desk what i can do before i just show you the the regular version and the geared version is to just show you what that looks like. So there's that curved or J-beam again. And let me kind of flip it this way. So one more time. That, I believe it was an 8. That 8 axle is going through the motor. We have that gray gear attached to that axle. And then, let me kind of turn it this way. And then we put, I believe it was a six through that hole there. And then we just have that small gray gear uh, basically interlocked with it. So <clears throat> let me go here to motor control so you can see that. So that's how fast that's going. And then what I'll do is just take this off here and just show you how that is compared to this one. So there's the regular motor and then the just to show you the difference in speed. So that's that one, and then. That thing calling. Okay. So those of you again just asked about I guess to be more speci more specific on how did the gears get put together, there's a pretty good picture of how that worked. So there's the curved or J-beam gear there, and then that would just that would pop on like that. Okay, all right, guys. Hopefully you found that cool to look at. Now you know how to build that. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.